And now, a look at the week's events certain to baffle your child like mine. The fallout from the radioactive water leak at the damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant is spreading. South Korean officials have announced that all fishery imports from areas in eastern and northeastern Japan will be banned starting Monday. They say consumers are becoming increasingly concerned that the marine parks could be contaminated. NHK World's Masaki Otake has more. South Korea has banned imports of Japanese marine products containing certain levels of radioactive substances since the 2011 nuclear accident. But officials say this new ban applies to all products. APRO, we've decided to ban all imports of marine products from eight prefectures in Japan, including Fukushima. South Korean officials say they took the step because it's difficult to assess contamination levels using only data provided by Japan. But the Japanese government says it already has strict safety controls. It says all marine products for export meet international standards. Shipments are banned when tests uncover radiation levels above safety standards. So no tainted products are being sold on the market. South Korea's ban has left many people in the Japanese fishing industry worried about their futures. We've been telling South Korea that we want to provide consumers with a sense of security by testing a number of fish. So we're let down by this announcement. We want the government to provide information appropriately and do all it can to ensure that we don't suffer any reputational damage. Officials at Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority admit they did not disclose all information on radioactive substances leaking into the sea from Fukushima Daiichi, but they've promised full transparency from now on. Disclosing accurate information is crucial, but the data we provided was not sufficient. The agency has uploaded data about water leaks and radioactive materials in the sea onto its website in English. It also plans to send the data to foreign correspondents and embassies in Japan. Masaki Otake, NHK World, Tokyo. Japan's main fishermen's association is asking the government to do something about South Korea's ban. The head of the association has sent a petition to Japanese industry minister Toshimitsu Motegi. We are really concerned about the South Korean ban. We want the government to provide information appropriately and do all it can to ensure that we don't suffer any reputational damage. Hori Shikishi is also urging the government to act immediately to stop the leaks of contaminated water from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. We intend to make it possible for fishermen to restart their work as soon as possible in a peaceful state of mind. Japan's industry minister says the government will lead efforts to quickly stop the leaks. Earlier this week, it pledged about $470 million to build a containment wall around the nuclear plant. Japan's economic revitalization minister is hoping to set up a national strategic zone to promote the exports of agricultural products. Akira Amari expressed his hope during a visit to an area known as Food Valley in the Netherlands. This area is crowded with 1,500 food-related businesses and agricultural research institutes. It has enabled the Netherlands to become the world's second largest agricultural exporter in value, right behind the U.S. Japan's agricultural products are rated high overseas, but the country is not aggressive enough in promoting them. Amari said he wants to see Japan also create a base to help push exports of farm produce that the global market wants. Japan's top government spokesperson says his country has imposed strict safety controls on marine products and other food. He says these products meet international standards. 
Shipments are banned when tests uncover radiation levels above safety standards. So no tainted products are being sold on the market. He called on South Korea to use science as the basis of its decisions about how to deal with Japanese food imports. Leaks of contaminated water in Fukushima are also a source of concern for local authorities near the nuclear plant. They want the government to keep a closer eye on the situation. The mayor of Naraha, just south of the nuclear plant, urged the industry minister to reinforce its monitoring of what Tokyo Electro Power Company is doing to prevent further leaks. He also wants the central government to inform the local population about ongoing efforts and to explain the risks posed by the leaks. Motegi acknowledged that delays in disclosing information about the incidents have caused concerns among the public. He says authorities are working on a system to provide information more quickly to people both in and outside Japan. President Hassan Rouhani is taking steps aimed at reviving international negotiations over Tehran's nuclear program. He's reassigned responsibility for the talks to the foreign ministry. The shift will allow Rouhani to have a stronger voice in the discussions. The international negotiating team includes representatives from Germany and the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has had overall authority for Iran's nuclear program, but the talks have stalled, prompting Rouhani's move to transfer responsibility. For Mr. Mohammad Jawad Zarif may serve as Iran's lead negotiator. He gained extensive experience negotiating with the West during his time as ambassador to the UN. The talks have been suspended since April.
Got the right way, you got the wrong way. Got the right way, you got the wrong day. You got the wrong time, you got the right track. You got the nose to the grindstone, went at your back. Got the bad luck, you got the good luck. You got the hard luck, you got the quick buck. You got the right way, you got the wrong time. You got the nerve to be crazy and you're out of your mind. You got the go away, you got the go ahead stay. You got the okay, you got the what do you say. You got the thick of it, you got the hang of it. You got the handle in the middle of the trick of it. You got the close up. You got the big love, you got the clean up, you got the rub dub dub, you got the high road, you got the low road, you got the seeds that you plant and you reap what you sow, you got the good idea, you got the bad idea, you got the good feel, you got the bad feel, you got the mix. We imagine that in the infinite universes parallel to this one, you are still staring dumbfounded at this video.